This video will provide tips for reading your electronic lesson book as a PDF file in Adobe Reader. You'll learn how to change the viewing options, add sticky notes and highlight text, find specific words, and even have Adobe Reader read out loud to you. First, you should know how to change the view of your lesson book. You can zoom in or out to enlarge or shrink the text by using the plus and minus signs in the menu. For more advanced viewing options, such as switching from single page view to two page view, open the view menu at the top of the screen. Once you have found a view you like, it's time to explore the sticky note and highlight tools that you may want to use when studying for exams. The yellow sticky note and highlight buttons are easy to find at the top of your menu. To make the most of these tools, you can open up the comment sidebar by clicking on the word comment. To add a sticky note to your book, click on the sticky note button, then click on the page you'd like to add the sticky note to. When you're done typing your comments, save the note by clicking the square in the upper right. Saved sticky notes will appear in the comments list. Anytime you want to add more comments to a sticky note, you can double click the note on the page or you can double click the notes you made in the comments list. If you'd like to customize the appearance of your sticky note, you can do so by right clicking on the note then selecting properties. The highlight text tool works in a similar way to sticky notes. To highlight an important section, click on the Highlight Text button, then select the text you want to highlight. Highlights will also appear in the comments list, and you can add notes to these by double-clicking in the blank space just below the page number. You can change the color of your highlights by right-clicking and then selecting Properties. Once you've created many highlights and sticky notes for a course, you may find that you want to search for specific notes that you made to yourself. You can do this by typing the items you want to search for in the Find tool at the top of the comments list. To save your sticky notes and highlights, it's important to save your document each time you close Adobe Reader, and you can do that under the File menu. If you want to search for words in the lesson book, you'll need to open the Find box for the entire document by going to the Edit menu then clicking on Find. A Find box for the entire document will appear in the top right of your viewing screen. and You can search for words here. If the words appear in the lesson book more than once, the forward and backward arrows will let you navigate through the list of matches. The last feature we're going to cover in this video is the option to have Adobe Reader read out loud to you. Some students find that listening to lesson books, in addition to reading them, can be a great study tool. To turn on the Read Out Loud tool, go back to the View menu, then click on Activate Read Out Loud. Once Read Out Loud is activated, you can tell Adobe Reader to read this page only, or read until the end of the document. Read Out Loud works better on paragraphs than bullet lists so choosing to read one page at a time will give you the best results. Now that you know how to use the viewing options, add sticky notes and highlights to the text, find words, and turn on Read Out Loud, you should be prepared to make the most of your electronic lesson book. If you need assistance with your electronic lesson books, please contact the IT Help Desk.